What up martial arts people of the internet? I recently got a comment that I'm not showing like enough technique or sparring or whatever video. So here we go. This is footage of me versus my instructor. I'm wearing a blue belt as you can see. And we are doing like Hungar Kung Fu. So this is Southern uh, Kung Fu style. And this video now I want to give you some insights. Maybe can you can take something away for your training as well in your martial art that you can help you maybe get a little bit off the edge. And let's see what the techniques and the sparring is about and what we can learn from this. So let's go. Let's see what it's all about. So first it's always a little bit like getting in contact. So you see already the fighting stance, we have both like the arms out, but I'm having more like a combat sports, like fighting position where I have one hand like more on the backside here to protect my head and my chin that I always can like duck and the other one is in the front. So I'm doing this because I want to like be able to deflect punches and also using Chisa or Kisa or Kyusa or whatever you call it, bridge hands, which is like a huge concept in Hungar. Obviously, it doesn't work always. <laughs> here's like more pushing and what I what I really like to do is like go over. So you see here, here it is like going on top. It's going on top. It's like something that I personally like to do because you can grab the hand of your opponent and then go over the top to like hit a punch directly to the face and make bam. That's pretty cool. So I see that over 90% of people who are watching my videos are not subscribed yet. So why not? You're watching my videos. So you are into fitness and martial arts. And these are my passionate topics I am thrilled about. So let's go this journey together. Subscribe now for free. Oh, this is a nice scene. Let's have a look at it. Bam, yes. Yeah, I tried to block like... I try to block it, so here's the thing, bam, on top, and then he directly comes back. So he's like doing bam, 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 bam. So it's like a combination, and this combination did actually work quite well, because I was not fast enough to get my guard back in. You see here, my hand is on the outside, she is on top of the hand, but on the outside, which doesn't bring really much benefit for me in this case, and here his punch is going directly in. And this was just dumb from my side, because I'm not having my guard up, stupid idiot, look. I tried to do like this here, this block that you also have like in a lot of karate styles, where you do this here. This is like how you would apply it, I don't know the name, the Chinese name, for sure there is one. I'm not really familiar with the terms yet, but I'm sure my instructor would know all of those. But this could be like a successful way to like block a jab, which I'm not able to do here, but I see the potential, I really see the potential. Uh, this, this body shots and there I missed my sidekick yeah you see here this here grabs my sidekick it's it's a problem with my kicks that they are not so they're not fast enough and I don't know why this actually is here yeah, you can just say uh, just kick faster but I'm not sure why it is that in combat sports you see a lot of successful kicks and mine are like they suck they really suck if you have if you have watched the other videos of myself sparring my kicks always suck uh, you see a another concept is like the top hand wins so you see we both have our hand extended and we try to really tap 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 gently tap to see to feel what happens next and what happens next We try to like block the hands, Chisao, Kyusao, bridge hands, and go in. I try to go in under and over. One of the like combinations that I'm used to that I think are pretty successful, not as successful with the big gloves. And if you're talking about gloves, just a uh, wee hint here, we're running almost full protection. So we have like head guard, we have mouth guard. I have 10 ounce boxing gloves. Usually my instructor would also have boxing gloves, but four ounce, so more of the MMA side. So here, today, he has now also the 10, uh, ten ounce gloves, and we're also wearing ground protection. So pretty, it's a pretty interesting scene, you see? You see? what this? Is, the subtle details matter. What he's trying to do is like, he's like, I think it's called charm cue, the force going down. If I'm mistaken, then please correct. The force like to put the hand down to make space and then bring an action. I was first. I bring the action, but it didn't land successfully. This is also a pretty cool movement that my instructor does here, see? Yeah, 
When you catch that, So this is a pretty cool movement, so keep a close eye what he's doing. My hand, my right hand is reached out, and here the other hand is protecting. I'm in a bow stance, I would say, and he is grabbing my hand, bring it back, and then coming immediately in. So this is like something you would, something that you would like know from a crane or a white crane fighting style, when you do like this here. Bam. Bam. Whoops. <laughs> So this is like, I would say this is something out of this um, kind of uh, fighting style and it's pretty interesting to see that, yeah, it's actually legit and it works. I have my hands up, luckily, but... Yeah, and this was just embarrassing. Have a look. I don't know where my hands are or where your hands usually are, but they should not be resting on your fucking balls, like on the top of the ground. So my hands are way too low here. And you can have lower hands. So um, Steam One Boy Thompson has lower hands when he's fighting, but then you shouldn't be that close to your opponent, which is like dangerous here because exactly, bam, step in, easy sucker punch, easy jab in. And here again, you see, Top hand wins. So he's putting a lot of pressure on my side. And he even swing me. I don't know why I fell here. I don't I really don't know because my structure isn't that bad. You see, oh that's also a nice one here. Blocking like this, and then I think he's now going here directly in. Yeah. A little bit too deep, maybe. The the first rip here would, would have been a good target. But who am I to judge? Yeah, yeah, and finally we are done, okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video here, please leave me a like and leave a comment also, what do you think, what could I have done better, what do you see, do you know terms for the specific like movements, I would be generally interested in this because I, I love doing Hungar, I love martial arts and I also love fitness, so if you're also into these topics then please leave a like here on the video, let's go this journey together, subscribe now for free, let's see you in the next video.